My name is Irene Tennant. I'm Head of Clinical Development and Regulatory Affairs at HET. And my major role here really is to bring in that molecule that's discovered in the lab and looking at it and saying, how do we get this to humans? There's a whole bunch of things we gotta do to translate what's in the science to the bedside. So that's what I do. My role is basically navigating HET through that process with the FDA and getting the approval so that it can be tested in humans. I mean, I started in HIV on the first protease inhibitor. When it first got approved, I was on that team when it first got approved and I worked in that, uh, during that time I was in the lab working at preclinical studies. Um, not knowing that, fast forward how many years later, I'm working on a cure for HIV, for the same disease that I actually brought first treatment to. So when I thought of that and I heard Jeff's talk, I was just like, this is, you know, we got a buddy up and, you know, the, his dynamic uh, personality and me wanting to be part of this development for AGT. Um, to me, I thought it was just a win-win situation, so. Well, you know, what really gets me up in the morning really is understanding that what I do is contributing to making therapies and treatments and caring people's illnesses. I mean, there are days when I just look at someone who's, who's sick or on a, on a deathbed or in a hospital when I visit a relative and I get, what can I do about this? I can't, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but what I can do is try to bring all those drugs that are piping in, in the science lab and getting them to, bed, to the bedside. That's what I can do. So that's my offer to the community. And I love being here because people around here, all the people here are committed to doing that. You know, and why would anyone get up in the morning and do that? Because if we can give just even a piece of paper to getting this drug faster to the patients, that's hundreds of lives we can save in a day. You know, the impact is so great for the contributions that we make. It's, it's interesting because, you know, I'm sitting here in an office and I typically do office work, right, in front of a computer and you don't expect any personal interactions with, well, with the audience that you're actually working for and um, you know there, a lot of times almost on a regular basis especially now when we're nearing clinical trials we get I get tons of emails and sometimes you know I, I tear up and no one knows that because I'm behind closed doors but it keeps me going just talking to the, the human side of looking at the human side of this process right and you know having the opportunity to see their kids or grandkids or see the next day or get up in the morning get out of bed I mean and the writers can say, I'm so thankful for this. If you're gonna stay in this business, you have to be motivated by something. And if you don't love people, how, why would you do this? I mean, this is for curing illnesses, saving lives. You know, this is what motivates me.